The board loves to ask you about when and what you should give for OI prophylaxis, okay? Hopefully you all know that for pneumocystis, you, want to, you don't need to usually prophylax unless the CD4 count is less than 200, unless your patient has thrush. That suggests that they are immunosuppressed enough that they're at risk of pneumocystis. So if you have an HIV positive patient who hasn't had antibiotics or another explanation for why they have thrush, and you make that diagnosis, they need Bactrim prophylaxis. And you can start that before you know what their CD4 count is, okay? Toxo, you only need to prophylax once the CD4 count drops below 100, and then only if they're toxo seropositive. And most of the time, you've already accomplished that by having them on pneumocystis prophylaxis. And then the other prophylaxis that you may get asked about is mycobacterium avium, and you only need to worry about that once the CD4 count is under 50. Ideally, you want to exclude active infection with um, blood cultures. At least that's our practice. I don't think the boards will ask you about that. And then that can be accomplished with azithromycin, 1,200 milligrams weekly. For most people, that's the easiest way to go.